Hey everybody, it's Coach Lisa again, coming at you with my favorite videos of the month, which is interviewing my True Tribe members. And I have such a blast with these because I always get to review their spotlights and I just love to hear them talk about just all these amazing things that they've accomplished. So today we're meeting Jenny. So um, I've known Jenny for a long time and actually I'll let her tell you how we met. Go for it. Well, actually it has absolutely nothing to do with running. Um, Lisa and I have known each other. It is, I, I know exactly when it was because it's about 17 years. It was 2006. My husband and I were getting scuba certified for our honeymoon in Hawaii. We got married in September of 06. And um, our very good friends worked with Lisa and she at the time was an assistant dive master. Master, uh, master instructor, I think is what it yeah, was. Yeah. Dive master instructor, whatever it's called. She was, yeah. she was um, our, our, when we took our scuba lesson to get cert scuba certified, um, she was our instructor. So that was how we met. And then fast forward uh, several years later, I think, uh, when did R Running for Bruce start? Uh, 2013. Okay. It was the year so after I was Greg like Hannah. six months in. I, it was December of 2013. And a, a, a mutual, well, she's a mutual friend now, Cami, said, Hey, I want you to come to this running club with me. And I'm like, Okay. So I go, and there's Lisa. <laughs> so she's back in my life. <laughs> so um, I hadn't seen her, you know, in, in the intervening seven years. And uh, so it was cool. And so then, of course, it, it's been all running all the time ever since. So. Pretty much, right? Yeah, it's so fun to actually go back to that. And I love it. For me, it reminds me of that. That's basically when I was at the dive shop, I had done the dive thing because that was with my ex-husband. So kind of another lifetime, although right. I can't yeah. wait to I dive mean, it again. It was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. I know Greg dives and we've been together for 11 years and still have never dove together, but we'll get to that, you know. But it reminds yeah. me how much I really do love teaching and coaching yeah. because that yeah. was also the same thing, right? I was helping people. I the first time I tried scuba diving, I freaked out and swore I would never do it, right? Yeah. And so then I had to kind of tackle that myself. Yep. And that's kind of exactly what I feel happens in the tribe and basically why I, the tribe was created because, yeah, right, that whole same idea, like I'm slow and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, who cares? But there's a bunch of people out there like me and let me just teach them that that's all good. It doesn't right? matter, yeah. <laughs> right? So yeah, that is awesome. And I just love to go down memory lane and to think that we've known each other for that long is awesome. Yeah, so totally. um, I always like to review your um, your previous member spotlights um, right. and go into the first one, which you did in, it was back in 2020. And actually funny, as you're saying about, you know, how we were separated for a while during the time of the diving, um, Jenny is now a lifetime member of the True Tribe, because at one point in time, I offered that as an option for my founder, founding members. And, uh, you know, you're stuck with me for life, girl. <laughs> Same thing. You know, I mean, it's, I, it's not going to be 70 years of time that goes by again without us. Right, exactly. Back, that'll, so. never, that'll never happen anymore. So. Um, one of the things I read, you know, again, there's so many great nuggets in your member spotlights, but one of the things I love that you said, because I think a lot of people can resonate this was, um, was the biggest lesson you learned. And you said that you're not one of these people who find Zen in running, that you actually don't love the task of running, but you love how you feel when you're done and how it makes you feel about yourself. Yeah. Can you elaborate a little bit? I, um, I'm like constantly like, when is this over? Am I done yet? How long do I have left? And I don't run long distances, you know that, and like some of our regulars know that, but um, I am a uh, 10K max with few exceptions, like the Silverton eight miler, like that's an exception. But I don't, like I'm ne never, I'm saying it, <laughs> gonna run an ultra probably. And I am okay with that, you know? I like and, how you still um, said probably though. <laughs> I think that's because you, you just never know, but probably not. Probably. Um, and, but but when it's done, well, first of all, how can you not love, you know, the the process when you're surrounded by the people that we are surrounded with? You know what I mean? Like it's just you don't want to miss out. But like I'm not like a distance runner. I'm not super fast. Like we were talking this morning about how slow I am, and it's hard for me to get that momentum. You know, um, but nobody cares, <laughs> and I don't care. So, um, but yeah, I don't, like when I'm done, I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, I just did that, yeah. And it's great. I love, you know, 
like I don't really get the runner's high when I'm running. Like I get it when I when it's done. Like okay, woohoo, I did it and it's over, yay! And you know I can still be included in this amazing group of women. So. Yeah, and obviously, you know, that whole thing like, oh, I really don't enjoy it, but you find fun and you feel good about it after enough for it to keep drawing you back. Yeah. Right? Like, well, all you my know. friends are runners. It's like, I can't stop doing it. Yeah. <laughs> and I also just, yeah, I love to point out because, you know, some of the past interviews, you know, we talk a lot about, and I always tell people, you know, we're not just ultra runners, right? And I don't mean just in the sense just because we always catch No, I know what you mean. We're just, but, but I love that. And, you know, so maybe even elaborate on that, like as far as the fact that you've made this decision. And I love it because I don't, I, you know, I always say people drink the Kool-Aid and, you know, maybe who knows, it, it could possibly happen, but, you know, you're pretty much really set um on, yep. on doing that and what what helped you make that decision not to well it was difficult at first because i am a highly competitive person like i you know like when you have a game night and you like you have your friends come over and some of them are like well i don't care if i win and i'm like then why are you here <laughs> like, <That's> a... <laughs> if you don't want to win this game like i don't want to play with you you know i'm really competitive so at first it was you know and i was you know some of my closest friends were people that were getting, you know, running longer and faster than me. And for whatever reason, you know, I had a couple injuries and, and it's just, I just don't think my body is made for that. <laughs> and so it was really hard for me because I started to feel really inadequate, you know? And so I'm like, okay, so I have a choice to make here. I can either like let myself feel bad about it, or I can just say, listen, like, the, the great thing about running as a sport is that there's no one body type, there's no one age, there's no one desire to, to do any particular goal. And when I realized that it was okay, like for, for my goals to be my goals, and it didn't, like, I didn't have to compete with anybody else, and most of them were not interested in competing with me either, which is a very foreign concept to somebody who is, like, highly competitive. Yeah. Um, as soon as I realized that, it was like a click happened. And I'm like, okay, I can do this. And I can actually, I mean, enjoy the process. You know, we already talked about that. But yeah. I can actually enjoy the process and not worry about, you know, like, am I going fast enough? Am I running long enough? Am I being judged? You know, because none of that, nobody is like that. Right. And, well, very few people in the running community are like that. You yes. know, I'm like, even the elite runners are like the nicest people you ever meet. And they're like so supportive when they like pet fly by me. They're always like, good job. And I'm like, thanks. <laughs> you know? And for sure in the tribe too, right? Because that yeah. is really the whole oh vibe gosh. of the tribe, right? Is this whole yeah. idea that it doesn't matter, you know, how old you are, what your body size is, what distance you want to do. Like we're all, that's the encouraging part is you, you don't have to do what everybody else is doing. Right. And I think, well, you know, like you said. So yeah, and that's the thing. Like nobody, nobody cares. I mean, they care what I'm doing because they want to support me, but they don't care that I'm not doing the same thing that they're doing. Yeah, you know, yeah. like so. And it's just nice. And as soon as I realized that, like, that is the way it could be. Like, it didn't have to be a competition. It was like a whole new ball game for me. Yeah. You know? And when I, when I was like, when I kind of like had the realization that I was like comfortably in the back of the pack, and I was, I, that I liked being there. I remember very distinctly, there was like, like a big group of friends, right? And then we had like one group of us that were like the back of the Packers and we even had t-shirts made, you know about this. Yes. Um, at the back of the pack. And then there was another group and they were like a lot more competitive and, you know, wanted to always run like harder, faster, longer. And we it was like a dumb race. It was like the, the donut run or something, you know? And we finished and my, well, because we were doing like a shorter distance, it must have been because we finished first. And my group was like having fun and we we're eating donuts and we're like, we probably had beer. I don't know if there was beer at the donut run, but we probably had beer. And, you know, we were just having, laughing and just having a great time. And then as our fr our other friends came in, it's like, they just looked miserable, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, <laughs> they are not having fun. And that's fine. Like for some people, I know that's not the, the main goal. Like I, I believe in setting goals. I believe in reaching goals. Th this, I just decided this wasn't going to be one of them for me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I was like, I'm here because my friends run and I want to hang out with my friends. And to me, that means I want to have fun. So it, that was like such a defining moment. And this was probably, I don't know, at least five years ago. Maybe yeah. More. And I'm just like, 
this is where I belong. Yeah, I <laughs> and, love it. And you know, I have been like unapologetic about it. Yes, ever I love since, it. Yeah, ever since I realized that that actually could be a thing. I was like, you know what? I'm not doing that. And I don't, yeah. you know, like I will support you. I think you are a badass, but yeah, no, not me. Not that me. reminds me, I thought you were going a different place with the race, but it's also another race that you guys did. Um, it was the one up in Flagstaff, the Gaspin oh, and the Aspen. Gaspin Remember the pictures, the, the senior pictures? <laughs> We're going to have to get some of those like, out of here. Yeah, you guys will Lori, see. Lori was volunteering that year. And yeah. she's like, where are my friends? <laughs> she was worried about it. She thought we got like eaten by a bear or something. But yeah. Taking your time, taking some yep. fun. We, and I that's mean, exactly it, right? Like, there, it's a different kind of heart is what I yeah. say, right? The elite people, they have a different mission, different goal. They're working their butts off to finish in over half the less time than we do. But they're yep. not taking senior pictures on logs. No, I mean. they're not taking <laughs> in pictures. They're having no fun. Right, and, yes. You know, for them, the fun is winning or yes, PR yeah, or whatever. And, and like totally, totally valid. Big time, yes. Uh, and no, I say I, exactly. I, I mean, like I have mad respect for those people. Me too. Um, but my senior picture was awesome. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny because I, because I see that all the time, right? Like I've had people say, I say, I'm never going to qualify for Boston. And I've had people say, but you know, there's something about training really hard for something in that sweet finish line. And I go, I get that. But if for four months, I'm going to hate running and my life is going to suck because I'm going to be doing workouts that I really don't care about doing. And I, I'm just going to raise money. I mean, you know, again, it's, there is a defining moment and I just want to reiterate this for anybody who's kind of stuck in this place right now like trust me the moment that you make that decision i'm not going to win the race who freaking cares <laughs> it takes off such a load for fourth fifth sixth hundredth hundred fiftieth you know whatever <laughs> yeah i mean i just posted not too long ago i was just last at my marathon i mean and yeah. i the first half i probably could have done a little better but i mean honestly i was struggling to make that finish it's not like i was i wasn't taking right. senior pictures but i mean still right. i struggled yeah um, i just very last at a race before, and it's whatever, it happens. I still, I'm still lapping everybody who didn't get off the couch. That's right. I think it's a huge accomplishment, regardless. <laughs> so going back to this whole conversation we're having, it really just, um, this was one of the things I did want to bring up because I just loved it when I read it and rereading it was, what's your biggest accomplishment since you've been in the True Tribe? And you said calling myself a runner, runner and truly believing that you're only competition in yourself, but calling yourself a runner, because that's a big one for our ladies. It is. Yeah. It's hard can you because when you, when you mostly don't run, you know, like I, um, I, I have, I always think of this after that one time, I have run like unbroken distances, you know, um, but mostly I'm an interval runner and that's just how I'm most comfortable and how I'm most successful. But when at least half of your race or whatever you're doing is not running, it's hard to, in your mind, you know? And so, it, it was it was a challenge for me and i remember the first time because it, it was between those it was somehow between the the first spotlight and the second spotlight that i like you know felt yeah. it was okay to call myself that because i had just you know i i had learned with confidence <laughs> that it like it doesn't matter like right. okay so maybe i'm a different kind of runner but it doesn't mean i'm not a runner that's right you know? <laughs> yes so, it is hard you know i struggle with in all kinds of um, places in my life with imposter syndrome. So, you know, it, it's, it, and it's interesting the reach that those feelings have because I really felt it here. You yeah. know, like I'm standing next to like, you know, like Barbara, who, I mean, she's just incredible. <laughs> and like, how, how can I call myself a runner when I'm standing next to her? And it's like, no, no, you, you can be a runner and she can be a runner. Like those two things can both be true. Yes. And she would certainly call me a runner. So it's like, yeah. we're so hard on ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. And I let you, the imposter syndrome is definitely real. And that's a lot of the stuff that I think happens in the tribe. Again, I always say it's the running and walking that brings us together as a community. But at the end of the day, it's a lot of these mindset things. It's like telling ourselves not to say just a 5K because that's right. a legitimate I know. You, yelled at, you guys yelled at me for that this morning. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, but I really... You're not yelling, but just reminding you. Yes. 
I didn't mean it that way this morning. Yes, just, uh, yes, <laughs> I know. But it is a good, I think it's a great mindset and it's something that we all remember. So when we're together and it does, because when you can shake off some of these preconceived notions about running. And I think that's why I want to do these because I want people to realize that we're just like everyday people. Again, yeah. you know, you don't have to be an elite person. You don't have to be skinny in an exercise bra going out for, for a run. I, I walk probably almost half of most right now. I'm because I'm training for longer distances. I'm enjoying walking more and I'm in the same space for a while. I was like, oh, I'm a coach. But, you know, it's just part of how I run. I like to include walk breaks and I enjoy walking a lot. It takes yeah. me longer, but who cares? <laughs> you're not gonna win right, right. exactly so, never <laughs> you, know, you know so it doesn't really matter I, you know it, it, unless you're trying to get a pr or you have some other particular goal it just it doesn't matter and i feel like if for for me and this isn't true for everybody but i think it's true for you if you're not enjoying it then you're not going to want to keep doing it right so exactly which i find that you have to make it a thing that you can at least like to do in some respect <laughs> right know? exactly right like kind of going back to what we started out earlier in this talk right where you said you don't really physically actually enjoy the act of running but right. there's something about what you're doing while you're running with the people all of that that still brings you back to it so find something and that's why I, you know, my business has evolved over time. It's kind of funny, right? I mean, I used to teach divers, <laughs> you know, and teach also fitness stuff to divers to get them healthy. And that was going to be my first niche is, um, scuba, you know, fitness for scuba divers before I started running. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, okay. So just another quick question. Uh, what advice would you give a beginner runner? Well, like, it's hard when you start. I remember when I first started, I was really worried about what I look like and and obviously, you know, like what my pace was and can I keep up? And I still worry about those things sometimes, but um, a lot less. I would just say, just know that it doesn't matter how fast you are, how long you run, you know, none of that matters. What matters is that you wanna get out there and you wanna participate in this sport that is comprised of like such amazing people like you will find such great people that's the, that's like the biggest thing i have gotten out of running if i'm being honest i mean yeah no does, i agree yes it you know it, it helps keep me healthy it helps to you know keep me fit but the relationships that i've gotten and if you can just let yourself not care <laughs> about you know all of those things that are making you feel uncomfortable then it's going to change your life <laughs> yeah Definitely. It is. It's life changing, you know, which is again, pretty much why all of this came together because it completely changed my life. I mean, I swear I would never be a runner. It still freaks yeah. me out. Me too. Coach, right? Right? Never. Right? <laughs> Just like you said, you wouldn't do an ultra and you know, I pretty much believe that, but you know, you never know. <laughs> never know. I always say never say never. So one of the cool things, and actually this was probably the first time that this happened and you did it. And I so appreciate it because I always say as much as I'm the coach and I'm the one who's engaging people in the tribe it really is our tribe and you know i've always wanted people to step up and do different things and one day jenny was like we should have a book club <laughs> and so we actually it, this was not my idea oh well so, it was after big pine and we were sitting out on barbara's deck and it was me barbara amy stacy and alina and stacy i think it was stacy and she's like we need a book club. Jenny, can you be in charge? And I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> so I picked our first book. I put an event out and, and that was, I mean, this was big pine last year. So it's been going now for over a year. So, um, so yeah, um, yeah. we take kind of loosely take turns picking books and we meet at Spokes on Southern, usually Saturday or Sunday morning. And we, you know, drink, beer or wine or whatever and have have some food as you know true true tribe fashion yes. and talk about the book a little bit and um it's a lot of fun and you know it's open to everyone like um i think barbara and i have been to all of the meetings and you know like it, people have things come up but and like sometimes people will show up and they don't come back and you know stephanie's been joining us the last several times and so yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I want to say, go ahead. It's only fiction books. 
Right. Yes, I think that's why, because originally I wanted to do like nonfiction, like the oxygen yeah. advantage and some of these, and you know, it, no, nobody sounded as excited. And again, I have this whole block about reading and it has nothing to do with not having time. I don't make, I don't make it a priority. So I understand that. And even I went to one once because I had FOMO. I didn't even read the book. I just wanted to go hang out with them. Yeah, I think when you went to though, the book was really rough. So yes. I hope it didn't scare you off. They're not always like no, that. No, I just know I have it. And, and if I'm going to read, I probably will not read fiction right now just because there's so many things out there. Yeah, lots of stuff. I know. There's lots of stuff to learn. But. Yeah, but I so appreciate it. And that's, again, just it just goes to show how much this community, again, I might be the fearless leader, so to speak, but it, it, it takes a village. And I just so appreciate you know that 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 you stepped up and made it happen they volunteered you and hey you got to go in and you guys had an author show up to one last time too didn't you yeah, so barbara um one of her residents is like a like a legit harlequin romance novel well was a legit harlequin romance novel writer you know like with the man with the flowing hair on the cover yeah, and <laughs> barbara was telling i don't know she mentioned somehow that she was in a book club and the lady said well if you read one of my books i'll come to your meeting and so we read one of her books, but you know, they're like a hundred pages. Yeah. So we read, it was like a two book, you know, we, it was like our second book, but it was so fun. She came to our meeting. She told us all about like where her concept came from and how like romance novels, romance novels were like written and, and how they're, anyway, it was really cool. That's um, awesome. talk, I'm not a huge fan of that genre, although I have read, you know, Sure. several but just being able to read something and then talk to the author about it is so cool it was such a, yeah. neat, a neat little addition to our meeting and she was just great I she was it. she was so fun we all loved her so fun that's so yeah. cool and it's a kind of like you know again as the tribe keeps every year we 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 evolutionize is that even a word i don't know but you know we keep finding or we evolve Right, we evolve. Thank you. That's probably the better word. And it is funny. Like I think about that again, even for my business. And I started out as a personal trainer teaching, you know, scuba divers, not only scuba diving, but how to get fit for scuba diving. And then all of a sudden somehow running came into my life and well, here I am now. But it is. And it's, here we are. It's an evolution. And so I'm looking forward to some more social events coming, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as Jan gets back, we're gonna have a social yeah. committee meeting. Committee meeting. That works. Yeah. <laughs> Um, anything else that you want to share that you can think of um, at this point? If not, we could. I would just say, like, um, I don't, I'm not as active as I should be, especially with lifetime membership. Um, and that's just because I'm, I'm busy. Um, but I love, so you have opened up things so much for people when you have, now that you have the running and the walking events, I, I really want to come to them. I just can't make any of them. And I think that's so awesome. Like if anybody is is on the fence of trying to join like in a group event, I know that is really intimidating, especially if it's you and then a group of people who all know each other. But just know that it's it's not like that here. Like you come in and like you, you're, you know, you're part of the group at least for the for the day, you know. Yeah. And so just just give it a try, <laughs> go to an event, whatever, we will welcome you and treat you like our own. And, um, it, it, you know, my biggest thing with the group events has always been, well, I can't keep up with them. And I, and again, I get a talking to whenever I right. say that. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I do. And, and I know that you're not wrong. You're not just saying that. Like it is like no, no woman left behind. And I love that. And I've never felt like that when I have joined. Yeah. But I know that's a, a deterrent for a lot of people. Yeah. But I'm just telling those people, <laughs> it's not feel that way. <laughs> yeah. And especially now that I'm adding the ambassador group on, yeah. because one of their roles is going to be to assist me with the group run so that I can literally have two people. And then one person awesome. will be the walking leader. Oh my and God, that's runners. amazing. Yeah, like I definitely, I'm still, you know, we still don't have as many walkers as I would like, but we're getting there. I mean, you know, it takes a little bit of time, 
Um, and also if anybody is listening to this, because right now the tribe is not open for membership and whether you're local, so Jenny was talking about if you're a local, um, we do have an online community. I have people, I have a lady in Mexico City, so I do have people that are not local, but if you email me at lisa at the running university.com, I am happy to give you a 30 day free trial to come check us out. Um, as a matter of fact, when this comes out, if you're watching this live in August, I'm doing a challenge in September, a fun walking and running challenge. Um, so I'm going to have information for that down in the description as well. So thank you so much, Jenny. I really appreciate your time and doing this with me. So everybody, I hope you really enjoyed this interview. And again, just shoot me an email. I'd love to have you come check us out. Bye.